there are always some good treasures to be found when out thrifting and secondhand shopping. Whether we buy them or not, well, you know, that's up to us, isn't it? So let's do some thrifting and antiquing. recently went on a couple thrifting and antiquing excursions and I wanted to bring you along for some spring inspired thrifting and antiquing shopping. I did not have a large haul. I probably go about once a month if that and so it's fun to bring you along when I get a chance to go. So you can watch the haul at the end if you're interested in that. Like I said, pretty minimal, five or six pieces but they're just things that I feel I want to bring into my home and not just have a lot of stuff. There's a couple of clothing pieces and some decor as well. So let me take you to a small town thrift store and then to a larger antique store with a lot of different booths in it. First stop was my hometown small thrift store. Their prices are always the best. They had Easter stuff out because it is not Easter yet and there's just some fun colorful things to look at and then they have so much material um, if I was a sewer I would definitely pick up different materials for pillows or curtains or towels whatnot I thought this checkered pattern three dollars for the bag was a really good deal did not get it but still a good deal and then some artwork of course I always enjoy looking at different pieces of art and photos different dishware whether they are antique vintage or not there's still some pretty pieces to be had and canisters I mean really 75 cents 25 cents those are the prices I see at this thrift store and that cannot be beat for some beautiful pieces All their mugs were 25 cents and this just screamed a uh, spring. And then these green little stemware glasses were only 25 cents a piece. You know, if you were doing a the Easter tablescape or inviting people over, that would be a really beautiful place setting. Then I've seen these plates and dishes before, but you know, 25 cents a cup, I think 75 cents a plate, just some really nice prices. And then these canisters, they were really cute. Um, they were just from Home Interiors, which I think used to be like a party, home party group that used to go around. Then baskets. Ugh, I love different baskets. And there's always so many different shapes and sizes at this thrift store, and none are really ever more than $1. little candle sconces were really cute. I'm not sure if they were my style or not, but you know, I could see someone who enjoyed vintage wear taking those and putting them in their home. Then a beautiful spring hat for a little girl, just a fun little piece. And I checked out all their denim. Denim is definitely in right now, again, for jackets. And there were some good ones at this thrift store. I did not pick one up here, but they had some really nice denim vests um, and denim jean jackets. Some were even vintage for sure because the labels were from probably the 80s or 90s. The next stop is an antique store and this candle holder you will see I did pick that up it's just so beautiful and then that booth also had it was 50% off everything so I was looking at just some different vintage utensils just different pieces they had their prices were higher to begin with so even half off seemed a little pricey like this basket $22.99 thought I probably could find that cheaper somewhere else or at Goodwill but it's still fun to look I could see this washboard that had been repainted hung in someone's laundry room and then you could hang like the lost socks on those pegs and um, just a fun little piece to have for decor. Artwork, like I said, I enjoy looking at different pieces of artwork and the three girls just reminded me of a friend I had who has three girls. 
Crocs are a must for me to look at. I do usually pick them up at rummage sales because they are cheaper, but I still really enjoy buying a good quality Croc if I do find one at an antique store. Here's another unique pottery piece. It was such a different shape and it says it's a wine mug. I'm not a wine drinker, but I thought that was just such a unique shape. I'd use it even as like a vase or something. And then this book basket, it was $14. I thought, oh, that'd be really cute sitting against the wall. And this, I really liked this booth. It just had a well-designed setup and it was really cute stuff. And um, again, I'm just checking out that pottery. For some reason, it is registering with me right now for pottery. And I enjoyed how they hung their baskets. Just kind of a fun way to look at the different sizes and shapes of baskets. Again, I'm looking at Crocs, but a butter croc for $25 was a bit much. And then I think it was $38 for this old salt canister. I've seen a few other YouTubers that I follow who have some like that, and it is really cute, but I don't know right now if I would pay that. And a false graph mug. Again, kind of the pottery look of a mug, even though it is false graph, but just cute turquoise color. And then a butter ball. I am on the hunt for a good butter dish. I used to have a white butter ball, but, or butter bell, but um, I guess I got rid of it for some reason. So, and then this was, I thought this would look cute on the counter or something with some flowers in it, take the top off. I did not get any clear glass, but I have seen Pine and Prospect Home did that in one of her um, videos, and I thought that was adorable. And then this large bowl. I'm gonna start right with the haul and I'm gonna start with clothes first. So the first piece I'm not even gonna show you because it doesn't fit but it's very similar to this shirt. It was an extra small petite and I thought maybe I could fit it but it was way too tight on my arms and it just wasn't gonna work. So I was not able to get that unfortunately or keep that. Um, I think I paid two dollars for it because it was a long sleeve. The problem with some of the thrift stores is there is no place to try stuff on on that particular thrift store. So you either hope it fits or it doesn't. This is a really adorable spring, the nautical look with the white and blue stripe. All right, other clothing. I was in search of a jean jacket for my second oldest because her older sister has one. And this is an old navy jacket with snap buttons and it was a three dollar jacket it was in the boys section but i thought hey no one's gonna know i think it was actually for little girls anyways so i do believe it is missing a button snap but no one's gonna know that either and she's worn it several times already and very adorable over some spring like dresses and also just with some other outfits and there was even a particular day when all of us girls in the family were wearing jean jackets. So, such a fun find. Here is a lovely summer sun hat for my oldest. It's a little bit big on her, but I thought it'd be really cute for Easter potentially or just to wear around for fun for a dress up. And I believe I paid a dollar or 75 cents for it. All right, that is it for the clothing. On to just some simple decor. And you know it, I could not pass up some baskets. So this basket first is a darker colored basket than I usually get. It was $1, so not too bad. It looks a little bit worn out, but I thought that'd be cute for an Easter basket or to hang in my laundry room where I have like a little bit of a basket wall going on to hide 
some of the ugly if you saw my neutralize the ugly video so i added this on there as well and it would be great for my girls to go pick produce with and for a dollar i can't pass up some of these baskets in the basket theme this one was unusual for me because i bought it for um 12 dollars. i want to say that's a lot for me to buy a basket but I really just felt like it was so sturdy, so strong. This is going to look super with um, some spring produce in it, some florals. You could even put little toys in it in the kids' room. I just knew this was going to find a lovely spot in my home. So I did pick it up for $12, which is, like I said, more than I usually ever pay for baskets, but it was in an antique store. And like I said, very sturdy. I really do like the lighter wicker look. So it will be great for my home to be useful or for decor. Last piece, little piece of decor. If you saw, I was looking at a lot of pottery. So I'm kind of in the pottery vibe mindset here right now. I don't know for spring, if that's just something I've been wanting to incorporate more into my home. But this cute little pottery candlestick is blue and gray. It was originally $7.99, so it was 50% off that booth. So I got it for $4, and I know I will use it. If you follow me, you know I love lighting candles in the evenings. Even when it gets warmer out, I'll probably do that some. Not as much as in the winter months, but I just thought this would be a nice addition to put on my coffee table here or on my little green stand on my kitchen counter and it would just look adorable and be very useful. I like that it has the handle um, and just some of the detailing of the blue right on the sides there. Just really a different piece for my home than just um, copper or a metal colored candlestick or different types of vintage crocs that i use things like that so pottery was something i really was looking towards well there's my little mini haul i hope you enjoyed the excursion with me thrifting and antiquing i will be having another haul and maybe some thrift with me because our charity rummage sale that's in a small town nearby is coming up i haven't gone for several months so it's time I think that I would like to do that. So you'll be coming along or watching the haul for that rummage sale too. I'll talk with you all in the next one.